41 assists today on 48 shots. Um, only a lot of time in franchise history you guys had 11 assists. What do you attribute that kind of a... First time what? I said 11 time in franchise history you guys have had 11 assists. Uh, 41 assists. Oh. Yeah. What do you attribute that, that, that to? No, just ball movement, playing the right way. I think getting to our next actions like we talked about before the game. And just, you know, continue to keep playing. And I thought Russ's pace was really good for us tonight in transition, having 26 transition points, guys running the floor, getting to their spots. And so um, we're attacking the paint, attacking the rim, and making the right play. Like I said, we're, we're a really good team. And so um, playing the right way, you know, guys getting shots, everybody's touching it. Um, it's a fun way to play. The bench unit, you guys have <clears throat> Bones and, and, and Mason, um, really just contributed to the level you guys needed to kind of, kind of just follow up the starting unit. What would you like from them today? Um, their pace, um, their ability to you know, get some stops, get out in transition, but Bones' ability to run, pick and roll, and get into the paint and make plays as well. And so, um, you know, coming off the bench, getting eight assists, you know, for Bones, um, that's huge for us. And that's the type of pace and um, attack mentality that we need as far as getting to the basket and making the right play. And coach, uh, speaking about pace, <coughs> we spoke about earlier today before the game started. Um, how do you guys keep it consistent now as you guys get ready to hit the road for Memphis and for New Orleans? Well, we know the formula. You know, we just got to do it. And so, you know, every night it can't be um, every other night or every three nights. Like, we know the formula. We know how we're we're the best offensively. You know, so we got to do that every single night. And so. I thought tonight was a great start. You know, it's the blueprint of how we should play, attacking the paint, making the extra pass, getting into the paint, making the right kick out, swing, swing. And so that's what we got to do. And if we don't have it, don't get stagnant and get to the next actions. And I thought the guys did a good job with that tonight. Got you. And defense overall was, was pretty good. There was a couple of laps, I would think, I would say on a transition deal, Zach Levine off made buckets, was able to get all the way to the basket. As you guys, get, again, get ready to hit the road, how much emphasis are you putting on transition defense moving forward? Yeah, it's very important. You know, taking care of the basketball um, offensively and transition re transition defense and rebounding the basketball on the defensive end. And so, I mean, I thought Nico did a good job just trying to deny him and pressure. But, you know, he had a couple where he, you know, we picked him up too high. He was able to get downhill and get to the basket. So, just got to be smarter with that. Thank you. Ty, no. Ty, for, for tip off. For tip off, you said that that combination sparingly used of Gordon, Russ. Nico, you get to see more of it tonight, and also you said moving forward, is Tumor your starting forward the rest of this regular season? Yes. And Rocco, is he the backup? Nico's a start for going forward, yes. Right. What drove that decision to, uh, Marcus has obviously been a mainstay of your for a long, long time. No, I just think it was a. Uh, I don't think, like I said, it was nothing. The market did did wrong. He's saying something just to try something different. And when you're not playing well, um, you want to try something different. And like I said, Marcus, you know, he was he was all for it, you know. And so, um, you know, we got to sacrifice if you want to win. You know, if you want to win at a high level. And like I said, our, our guys have you know bought bought into that. You know, even the playoffs two years ago and last year. And now, now, so it's just something that we needed to try different. And um, like I said, Nico played great, <laughs> so hope we can continue this. But um, you know, just I just think giving us a different look, especially with PG being out. Um, you know, adding Nico, which is another defender to the starting lineup, um, I think will help us out. And so uh, we'll see going forward. What? I know uh, you, you talked about the pace a lot. I mean, the way the fast break pace was, was really good, but how would you kind of assess, like, how guys kind of reacted to controlling uh, the pace consistently all game tonight? Ask me again, Lon. Just the, the way the, the pace was, I mean, obviously y'all scored fast break 26-15, to 15, I believe, and after Saturday night, Pelicans kept on saying, look, we, we wanted to push the pace. We wanted to control it. And you can play fast, but obviously not always play in control. Like, how, do you, how did you kind of assess the team's ability to not just play fast, but control the game? Basically? Yeah, I thought we did a good job, like I said, Russ pushing the pace on misses, but on makes, like, get us in the sets. And so we're not playing as much random. So we know what guy's going to be on the floor so we can try to cut down on turnovers, even though we had 18 tonight. Um, but I think just the... The difference between on a miss, pushing it, getting out early, attacking early, and then when the team scores, you know, slowing it down, getting to a set. Don't push it up, you know, fast on, on makes. You know, just kind of slow down, get into our set so we can run something, so we can have our spacing right, and we know what guys are going to be at on the floor. 
Yes. <clears throat> At halftime, you guys were up by seven, and Kawhi only had seven points. What what does that tell you about this team kind of going forward about what they can do when he's not producing offensively that well? Yeah, I thought he demanded a lot of attention, just like posting up. They came and doubled, and we was able to get some early threes on the swing swings. Um, I thought he did a good job of hitting the first guy when when they double teams. That's trying to skip it, making the the first pass out in front, and uh, like you said, making those plays. And he just took his time. You know, we knew he was going to double team him on the post ups. Um, they always do, and so just taking his time, making the right play, and um, you know, not forcing anything. I think you know when you have a great player that you know takes his time and kind of plays at his own pace and never gets sped up, and um, just takes what the defense gives him. I thought he did a good job with that, and that allowed us, like you said. To shoot the ball so well and get you know get 43s up and make 20 of them because of his pace and his poise and um, taking on the double team and making the right pass. Thank you. Let's get ready for hoop jab.